back in that frontline setting, sunitinib has been one of our oldest and longest standing VEGF receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitors. It's one of the therapies that we use most often in this disease, particularly for patients who have good or intermediate risk character, uh, characterizations on that uh, multivariate model I explained. Importantly, sunitinib uh, is different from others in the class in that it's dosed on an intermittent schedule, either four weeks on and two weeks off traditionally, allowing patients an opportunity to recover from a side effect profile. So although patients do experience toxicity, it's not a steady state. It does increase and decrease, and that does help decrease the cumulative wear down of patients who are on a constant medication otherwise. Uh, many of our patients prefer uh, Sutent uh, because of this uh, dosing schedule, and importantly, the efficacy of this agent is not compromised by doing an intermittent schedule. Dose reductions can be used with sunitinib and maintain efficacy as long as they are for toxicity, and the majority of our patients in our experience have been able to tolerate Sutent and benefit from it in that frontline setting.